Hello, Taurus, and welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for the second half of September. I have meditated upon the cards, and I have pre-shuffled. As always, I will shuffle live. Remember that these are general readings, so take only what resonates and check out your sun, moon, rising signs so that you're able to figure out everything that is going on in your vicinity. You can also check out whatever sign you are focused on in your birth chart at the moment. All right, my dear ones, for everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented, thank you so much for being the heartbeat of this channel and for giving me everything that I I mean, I, I can't even believe how much happiness and joy I get from uh, from all of you guys. So thank you so much for all the love uh, given out there and letting me know that this does resonate with you. All right. And for those, uh, if this does not resonate at all, please consider clicking that subscribe button so I am better able to embrace your energies during the reading. The cards are having a tricky time coming out, you guys. Well, and oh, yes, and for everybody who has donated, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I, I truly appreciate your support. I'm, I'm blessed beyond measure. Um, before I get into the cards, I want to go over this Earth Mother. I was meditating upon it during the pre-shuffle. And it feels like you're trying to find somebody to mentor or find somebody to mentor you. I hope that makes sense because that's what I got. Like that was the sensation that I got. So I hope that resonates. If it does, please, please share in the comment. I want to know what that means. Um, oh, you're, it came out. All right, let's move these along just a smidge. All right. We'll get all these cards flipped over. Six of Swords in reverse. Two of Swords. Did I really just do that? Two of Swords. Eight of Swords in reverse. Justice. The Lady. Hmm. You know, very interesting, Taurus. It feels here like you've been unclear about a decision. You actually may have been holding yourself back in regards to a decision, but it feels like something pretty big is coming in. And because this big thing, you're heading toward it or it's heading toward you, I'm not sure which. But it feels here that you're going to make up your mind fairly quickly. Or maybe you have already because this is a, a past, past energies. But take it how it resonates. Time is quite fluid, okay? In the end, everything is, everything worked out the way it should. And it feels like it's actually a very good thing. It feels like that time, whatever, whatever you, you were requiring time away from something, like you weren't able to make a decision. I'll get some clarifiers, but it feels here like you weren't, it, it's not like you weren't able to make a decision. I don't feel like that's correct. I feel like this, it's more about you saying, all right, well, I need, I need clarity. I need, I need a moment to work something out before I decide. And it feels like whatever it is you're deciding upon or choosing or 
whatever path you're going to choose, I feel like you're not choosing it with your eyes. You're choosing it with your heart. So you're not going after material um, things here. You're actually going ap ap after your heart. What, what, what pleases your heart? Hold on. A couple cards flipped over. Oh, well, like a lot flipped over. Let's see what we have. Okay. Very nice. I feel like you were stuck for a little bit, but I feel like it's not like you were stuck. I feel like you placed yourself in that situation, like you not moving forward, you not like you withholding yourself for whatever reason. Because it, it just feels like something wasn't aligned, something wasn't right. And you felt it and you just needed a moment to collect yourself. Whatever happened in the past, it, this is very big change here. Very big, good, good, good change. Very big, good change. I like it. Did something flip? No. Okay. We have the Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, Eight of Wands, Page of Wands, and Page of Swords in reverse. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is current energies. It feels like you are ending whatever cycle this was. I told you there's big changes that has just happened or about to happen. Okay, so depending on your situation and where you are, but I feel like Whatever is coming is coming in pretty big. And I feel that I feel that th this cycle, whatever this cycle was of you not moving forward has really, it, it's ended. And I feel like the time away that you took off or whatever it was that you kind of kept yourself away from, I feel like you're about to really harvest the uh, harvest the the potential or harvest the the earnings or the winnings of whatever it was or why you've kept away and i say this because we have the lady here which is the empress and then we have the 10 of wands you may have uh, left you may have kept yourself away from something it may have been love like you you may have not been open to love not to say that you didn't have partners but maybe you just weren't open to love like you were closed off to it hold on a card just zoomed out yeah it's exactly what it was you were Look, we have justice twice. You were balancing yourself. You were healing. This time away was you healing. You may have been alone for eight years, for all I know. But something is coming at you fairly quickly. Very good communication. I am going to warn you, there's going to be communication from two different people. Be mindful of one, this specific page of swords in reverse. I'm, I'm not crazy about this particular one, even if it is in reverse and this page of wands. Um, I like a lot. I'll get some clarifiers here though. And be mindful of what's being offered. I feel like you're savvy enough to figure it out 
and what to go towards. I feel like it's this particular one, not this one. But I'll make sure to okay, get a clarifier here for the Page of Wands, please. I'm going to have a clarifier for the Page of Wands. Some of you may be traveling. If some of you are traveling, um, pay attention to signs and synchronicities. I'm drawn to the eights. Yeah, this is the one. I'm drawn to the eights here which uh, talks about um, synchronicities and things falling into place and my infinity sign. Well, not my infinity sign, but to me, it's, it's a sign of the infinity sign. And then here we have the two tens closing a cycle to begin a new cycle. And look, we have three eights actually. This one is upright, so this is the one you're going to start something with. I feel like this one, yeah, this one is not the person for you. No, no, bad, bad, this one, bad, bad, okay? All right. Upcoming, we have, in the near future, we have the Ten of Swords, Two of Coins in Reverse, Nine of Swords, Four of Cups in Reverse, and the Eight of Cups, Okay. Look, we have the Four of Cups twice, you guys, okay? You're definitely ending the cycle of however you felt hurt in the past. You're ending that cycle. You're definitely ending that cycle. I feel like this person kind of leaves you like they place you at ease. I feel like this is actually, there's no decision to make. I feel like this is an easy decision, but for some reason in, in yourself, you're still a little bit torn. I'm going to get a clarifier for the nine of swords for sure, because I'm, I'm getting the sense like you don't want to repeat a pattern, but you also see that this person, you see the similarities for, for, from this person uh, to the past person, the advice I'm going to give to you, which we're going to get advice from spirit, but don't compare this person to another person. Okay. To a past person. That's, that's going to be a bad thing. Bad, bad. Right? So get out of your head. Get out of your head. Don't close yourself off. All right? Don't ignore. Right? For some of you, if you choose this path and not this one, be mindful of repeating the habits. Right? Re be mindful of repeating the habits and don't ignore the, uh, the red flag. Some of you may be moving. Some of you will consider moving. If you guys choose this path, you guys will walk away from this path. I feel like if you go towards this path, this person, you're walking towards this person. Once you get your ish straight over here. All right, I do want a card for the Ten of Swords, please. A card for the Ten of Swords, if you don't mind. Whoa. Okay. Come on. Okay. That's a little ridiculous. I'm going to do this because these two cards jumped out. I don't know what they are, though. Hold on. Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. This person may be a past person. They, they may have been the person that 
broke your heart initially wanting a second chance. Wow. Wow. Don't repeat this, you guys. Don't repeat it. Mm -mm. No bueno, you guys. No bueno. I right, may have a card for the two of coins before I even get into that. Oh, that card came out. Okay. One more card for the uh, Six of Swords, please. Hold on. Wow. Nine of Swords, please. Card for the Nine of Swords. And two cards. Okay. Sun at the bottom of the deck. I told you, there's real, there's happiness here. There's happiness here. Um, with the Ten of Swords, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant. If you work well with this person, right, not this one, if you work well with this person, this is a solid union, a solid friendship. It starts off small, and then it, it can lead to marriage. But it starts off as a very solid friendship, like camaraderie. There's, there's, there's a lot of... Uh, similarities to the two of you a lot of common ground is what I'm getting with these cards and you may end up actually marrying this person with the two of coins in reverse honestly I feel like there isn't a decision to be made I feel like you just do it you move toward it and I feel like it's a like a split second decision it just happens. And with the, I remember the card, the nine of swords, we have the four of swords and the nine of cups. I am telling you, this person is going to ease your worried mind. They settle you in a beautiful, beautiful way. I do want one more card though for the four of cups, if you don't mind. I'm gonna, I'll put this for here. A card for the Four of Cups. What are we not paying attention to? Whoa. Don't ignore the happiness. All the signs are there. You're happy. You're happy, 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 happy. Happy, happy. Look, happy. Look, Nine of Cups. Six of Cups. The Sun. Happy. Happy, happy. Okay, advice. We have the seven of coins. Death. The magician. Oh, and temperance. Wow. Wow. They are speaking quite loudly to you, my dear ones. If you're manifesting something, go toward it. It's coming towards you. You're going toward it. Go. Go toward it. Pull it in, baby. Pull it in. Look. See how it's coming in? The boat's coming in? Look, you're pulling it in. Do you see it? Huh. And the four of cups again. That's funny. Maybe you're seeing four, four, four. All right. So advice from spirit is seven of coins, death in reverse, magician, then temperance. Hold on. We have two cards that kind of jumped out already. Oh boy. Listen, make sure that whatever effort you're putting in, whomever it is that you're dealing with or whatever it is you're dealing with, make sure that they're putting in as much effort as you are, okay? 
allow your old ways of being to die. Whatever it is you're manifesting, all right? Make sure that you're creating a new life, but whatever it is you're manifesting, make sure that you're open to it. You're available for it, okay? Because whatever this is, is incredibly balanced. It's beautiful. Look, three major arcanas right here as advice. We have one, two, three major arcanas down, uh, arcanas down here and two up here. I'm telling you, big changes for you. Big, 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 big changes. So again, your advice. Make sure that whatever you're putting effort in, it is coming back to you there whomever it is you're dealing with whatever it is you're dealing with they're putting in as much effort into you as you are to them also be mindful if they're putting effort into you and this is something you want make sure that you're putting in the effort as well okay allow the past to die out because you're in a new season my darling a new season let the old you die. Whatever you were closed off to, let that die. Because I am telling you, you are drawing in something magnificent. But here in the in the advice with this magician, this is saying you're able to create whatever it is you're wanting to create. You have the potential to create whatever it is you want. You're able to to create this balanced, beautiful relationship, but you have to let this, this die, okay? You're able to draw in whatever it is you're trying to attract, this beautiful relationship, draw it in. All right, um, then we have the revolutionary and patience in reverse. Listen, if you feel the attraction, look, that's the Ace of Wands, right? The revolutionary reminds me of the Ace of Wands. If you feel chemistry with this person, I just saw the 2222 two, two, um, on the clock. If you feel a chemistry with this person, don't hesitate. Do not hesitate to jump on it. All right, go for it. If there's some sort of attraction there and it feels right, go explore it. Have faith. May trust steady your fears. Have faith that this is right. I mean, it doesn't get any more clear than that. I'm telling you, have faith. This is, I mean, look, you guys. All right, that is what I have for you, my beautiful Taurus. I hope this did resonate. If it did, you know what to do. And until we meet again, bye.